friends, family. I remember the story I was once told. A man sat down one day and asked himself, who are these people around me I call friends? Who are these people I do a whole lot for? Can they really get my back like my family would do? Then one day he had to run to his couple of friends. He said, you know, something very terrible happened this morning. When I went to the farm today, I went hunting. I shot a very big animal. But when I got to where this animal was, I realized I had killed a bee. What would you have me do? I have murdered someone thinking I've made a better kill. None of his friends could give him the best advice. They all turned their back at him. They could not even help him figure out what next to do. Then he said to himself, if I can be around these people, if I can call them my friends, if I can dine and marry with them, and yet I'm in a fix, none of them could give me a solution to them. Let me try my brother. He ran to his brother, repeating the same statement he told his friends. The first thing that his brother said, hey, I hope you didn't tell anyone about this. I hope you did not make any of your friends knew you had killed a being instead of an animal. He said, no brother, I have not shared out this information to anyone. Then the brother said, take me down there. Let's see how we can discard this body. Now, he was frightened. He was shocked. He was amazed. I hardly spent time with my brother. I hardly marry and wine with him. But when I found myself in a fix, he tend to give me a fast solution to it. Now he took his brother down there. When his brother got down there with him, he said, open it up. Take away all the leaves you've covered this human being with. <laughs> when he did, Unfortunately, it was not a being. It was a very big kill. Then the brother said, why are you doing this? You told me you killed someone instead of an animal. He said, no, brother. I had sacrificed everything I had for my friends. I had been there for them. I have been so nice to them. I wanted to put them through a test to understand how far they got my own back to. But when I found myself in this fix, none of them could come true for me. But when I called you, you came true for me. You wanted to keep my secret with me. You wanted to protect me. You wanted to guide me. Then I realized what more can be better off than a better family? Yes, sometimes we have friends who can be as much as our family. Sometimes we may not be lucky to have this kind of friends. But in a nutshell, we should always respect our families. We should never keep our families far from us. Because you could do a whole lot of things for friends. At that point, they think they're appreciating you. They end. These are things they can do for you. And yet they criticize you when you do it for them. What do I have to say? Or do, what do I want you to know? No matter what you go through, no matter the position in your life today, 
no matter the money you have today, the assets, the wealth, don't always forget to keep your family close. Because someday, they will stand with you when none of your friends will be there for you. Stay focused. Open your brains. Open your mind. And see the reality of life. People want to get themselves attached to you because of the benefit it brings. People want to defend you because they have one thing to get out of you. But your family will stay with you no matter the situation you are. Keep your family close and be good.